So welcome back to the ESL ESEA Pro League. We are now getting ready for game four of the day, and I'm not joined by Mitch Uber Leslie anymore. No. I've replaced him. We've sent him back. He's back in shackles, and we're not going to let him out <laughs> until, well, maybe next game. We'll yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll, we'll unleash him again soon. Well, these Aussies, they're pretty thing. sneaky. Get, they can get out of anything these days. But uh, yes. Virtus Pro versus SK Gaming. Now, SK, uh, one for one tonight, actually yep. destroyed Hellraisers earlier on. I was quite surprised by that one. Yep. Um, very close game against Navi just a moment ago. Yeah, it's it's been a good night, I guess, for SK. Maybe not reflected directly in the results, but mm. the rounds, the, the score lines have been quite impressive. So hopefully for them, they can keep something up here. But then again, Virtus Pro are another beast you know, unto themselves. Yeah. They've had a slight underperformance so far in the Pro League, I've got to say, sitting quite far down on the rankings. But now it's their chance to start building up, and they need to if they want to start qualifying. Now, it is on Cobblestone, and memory serves me correct. Actually, Cobblestone was a map that SK used to be pretty good on. This is a very different but it's SK. A very different SK. This, is, this is the thing. It's very hard to kind yeah. of determine any sort of history to SK, as they do have so many different kind of additions. Moddy coming back into it, at least for now. I know he's been kind mm. of in and out of this roster every now and then when required, but he is you know, featuring here tonight. Freestein to play very well is, is another new factor that we didn't see too early on for uh, for SK. And then, of course, Magisk as well, who's just come in and he played, played brilliant, yeah. outstandingly. 28 kills in that last game, yeah. and he's got to be quite annoyed that his team didn't win it, I think. Well, to be fair, he's been doing this throughout. Uh, yeah. On cash against Titan, he was the big performer again in the games earlier, having some really big moments. So he's come into this roster and found a lot of form here. However, though, it's Virtus Pro. In, you know, it's it's hard mm. to kind of ever underestimate them, even if they're sitting slightly lower down on the rankings. They can go top six with two wins today, which is what they're probably going to be looking at. However, their later opponent's certainly not going to be easy. Um, that's TSM just after this one. But this is their starting point. They need these two wins yeah. to start getting towards that top six. Otherwise, everyone else is going to start running away from them. Yeah, absolutely. They're, the problem is for Virtus Pro is they've got those eight losses, I think it is, already yeah. uh, stacked against them, which really we were talking about with Alex um, back on Tuesday, I think it was, mm. how they really can't afford to lose any more exactly. games. And that, uh, uh, the fact that they got TSM later, they lost to TSM 16-11 on Tuesday. Uh, that was on Mirage, which you would argue is probably one of their better maps. Now, yeah. it is going to be on Overpass later, I believe, which is, again, another map that Virtus Pro have played a hell of a lot of games mm -hmm. on, but it's TSM they're playing. But let's get to this game. This game is all about SK versus Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro on Cobblestone actually are one of the teams that have put a decent performances against Fnatic, and Fnatic clearly the yeah. best team on uh, Cobblestone. Pretty much. Um, no, Virtus Pro have always been quite good at this. I mm. like the way they play it. They have a, quite a nice style. Pasha's um, play towards mostly that beast, like how he kind of solos through is always really something enjoyable. And our producer said there was 10 in the server. Unless Cuban is signed to play again, he is a liar. Um, we'll have to wait and see if he uh, does oh, go wait, to no, They are all in there. There's they a, are. A, a okay, Cuban's so Cuban's just coming back for a little while. Mm. Maybe he just wants a, a bit of glory days back yeah, in there. Yeah, just relive it all. He's just not know. quite as happy as being a coach anymore. Well, he sees Moddy back in there so he's like well if Molly's coming it. back maybe it's my time as well maybe it's my time uh no no your time jesus let's, let's not go that far back players haven't sunk that low yet <laughs> <laughs> don't know about that. Anyway, we are going to wait for him to get into that coach role. Knife round. We've just done that, and we are getting ready for the knife round. So just as I was about to abuse the delightful mm. producer, I have to shut my face. But we are about to go ready into this one. And yeah, I'm just looking at what SK can do, because you've got to feel eventually the, the steam will run out. You know, it's it can, it can only go for so long picking up these sort of results. But they have won, I think, every single knife thus far this evening. Mm. So maybe they can keep that up again. The thing is that SK really only need to pick up a couple of wins. You think yeah. of their, their piston. They're basically fighting to get out of that auto relegation spot. That's the one they want to get out of it. If they can just pick up a couple, bear in mind it's probably, what, Penta, Hellraisers. So they're, they were two wins behind the others. Yeah. So they were on three, I think, and the others were locked on nine. So the, two, the three teams above them were on nine, if I'm not mistaken, and they were you know, a little bit of a step behind. But they have picked up one now, so they're on route. One win today, at least. So if they pick up... You know, another uh, a two wins somewhere down the line, or even mm. just like one more. They will be at the cusp of you know the other teams like Hellraisers down there as well. And, they and, are and running out of games, so that's the exactly. danger. Exactly, SK have been playing a lot of games yeah. and losing a lot of games, yeah. so that's the only issue there. But regardless of that aside, we mm. are ready to start this one up. So Virtus Pro will be starting out on the CT. SK, good luck. You're starting on the T side, and Virtus Pro looking ready to get this one underway. Yeah, they really want to get this pistol under their belts to try and get things rolling. Can see Bialy, the only man that's going to pick up the kit. We'll keep our eye on where 
he may go. It is going to be a four-man stack over towards B site for both teams. This is going to be a full-on brawl straight in tunnels. But they're doing the boost and drop, which I always like seeing. So Snacks is going to get up there almost first and foremostly, but there's a counter boost counter coming boost. out as well. That's really nice. A little bit of an adaption between the two. So Snacks does fall back, but he does get the instant information. Yeah, I managed to catch a glimpse of him. I think it was Pasha that managed to get a couple of attacks down as well. He does. He's managed to try and get on towards Moddy. Freeze is getting tagged up as well. Trying to find him. A couple of shots through the smoke. Taz has managed to pick off two. That was drop that's been completely cleared out. And SK are going to have to react to this one. They're going for a full rotate to A, but I think Virtus Pro are going to get a wind of this. Yeah, and basically SK got cut to the legs and when those two players fell away from drop, no they rotated. were unable. Neo's still there. He can still at least keep tabs on this, but he won't expect a Cillian to be so far through. He might have to consider it now. Now he's got the information. Taz isn't far away. The bomb is yet to cross. That's what they were waiting on. But now Moddy there, that's made trouble. Taz, however, has dropped down free. So that's a bomb loose. So now Moddy and Asilian looking for the fight. Taz has got himself a fourth. Can he make it a fifth? Not quite, but Moddy goes big. Pasha comes in to end his woes. But, well, that was almost, almost a pistol ace from Taz. Reliving his youth uh, straight away in there. But fantastic stuff. But it's Virtus Pro, unfortunately, for SK came in. They do pick up the round after SK... Well, they lost too early on and managed to make their rotate and almost made it count. If only they'd got that bomb down. That's the thing. If maybe Freeze had made it across, who knows? It could have it could have changed around. But it wasn't to be the case. And Taz then doing you know the, the real dirty work, taking the players out of drop, dealing with that threat, and now Neo peering out along. I think he might have seen one, but backs away regardless. And now SK kind of taking their time throughout this map. Pasha doing what he does best, just kind of taking over onto that kind of platform over by B, or a Snacks in Bialy, focusing towards drop, playing it quite passively, but Neo has to be careful here. Yeah, Neo up close and personal. It's Friesen and Cillion over on A site. The rest of SK all just stacked around drop at the moment. And the bomb just got dropped over on there at the moment. Snacks is holding drop room. And you can see he's got Bialy just there with him, ready and waiting. It looks like it is going to be possibly a three-man push down here. Trying to sell the fake, flash over towards Pasha on platform, but no push. I kind of hope they split through towards A and they do like this 3-2 split, mm, but I don't like window. the bomb being in the hands of Magisk in this. And we're going to see the smoke go down. That's going to pull Snacks back, and it looks like they're trying to do this. They're trying to head in towards it, and the tank lines are paying off. Magic finds Snacks. Taz now under pressure. He's going to run out of bullets. Sandin will break in. That bomb is running. Bialy's going to try and catch Sandin in the heels, but Sandin will make it away as Neo now having to be the linchpin player on the site. Caught in the back, and he manages to get tapped down. Sandin takes him out. That's the M4 he managed to rescue, and this is a two-on-two, -two, but SK both low on health, and Vodas Pro will come in. Cleanup crew once again in the hands of Bialy and Pasha. And Pro do get the round, but that was tight. Tight for just a tech line round. Yeah, but Bialy's confidence then. You could see him just leap into it. He just knew he wanted to take that fight. Uh, just good stuff, but as you said, quite close and you can see the, the theory of the play coming into practice and, and sadly Taz getting a little overwhelmed at times. You know, there's only so much you can do with that silenced M4. The limited bullet supply, of course, will kick into practice. Now, the best I can imagine SK can hope for here is pretty much getting a bomb plant, if that, maybe a kill or two, but Neo taking the fight on one, being baited oh, out of the four players, going to come into practice. And look at this, it's a clean up again. Neo and Taz with a crossfire. Nice work with a pistol from Taz <coughs> as Neo will close down with the Tech 9. So standard stuff there. Glock train not quite working out for SK Game. And what will they do now? Finally, rifles in hand. But you can see the, the idea behind that as well. You put the one player up high, so you get someone like Neo trying to you know, focus him down, and the four who are closer can push forward and try and capitalize on him. Wasn't to be the case as Neo smartly fell back, didn't fall for the two Mac 7s coming into this round. Ways. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm guessing they're going to go drop. It's Pasha and Snacks that are stuck with him. Now, Pasha's been platform the last few times. Snacks way. will be drop, and Pasha is going towards platform. Last again. time we saw Virtus Pro trailing, actually him picking this up quick. made the difference. Now, we can see a lot of names coming through. None of them catch, and they hit the brakes. So, Pasha let one slip through there. That's Sicilian, but he's checking it. He's not sure. He might just have an inkling. Now he knows. That's the tag as well. Sicilian's in trouble. He's going to back out of that. Yeah, he has to get the hell out of Dodge. But the bomb is with Moddy all the way over on A side. You can see Neo scoped up getting a glimpse. He now knows there's one to the left of him. That's Moddy that's making the shots count. But it's Fries and Sander that are about to push on Taz just on the top of Long. Neo's about to rotate and join him. Taz manages to lock down Sander. Neo comes around, finds himself a scope on Fries, and will land the shot. Now back over on B site, the bomb has been collected. Asilion making his move, but they're pushing on toward Pasha. Pasha just needs to weigh this out. They may 
check this, but they have nothing to clear it. They have no mollies, no nades. They only have a smoke, which would probably go down towards door, if not the side of drop. But this is dangerous. Snacks can set up Pasha really well here. That flash is going to come through perfectly. Catch all three. Oh. Pasha gets one on the execution path. Looks for more, but Bialy wants to take it. And well, Pasha <laughs> closes in the end with Moddy. But you can see the plan from Virtus Pro. It's really well choreographed, and he can afford to do that, especially against a buy. He's recovered a rifle now, saved a lot of money. And you can see he's already on 11. I think it's 11k coming out for him. It, it's huge, you know. That means that they're secure for an ult later into the game. If he wants to run it, as we see Neo being the man to do the work over by A. And more importantly, the last two rounds, nobody from Virtus Pro has died, which is a, a real issue for SK Gaming. Not able to take any of those weapons out of their hands and then gift them the AKs as well in that round. It's going to cause a bit of a mountain of a problem. Sandin's the man that's going to try and rush in, but he will get onto platform. Pasha's going to be well aware of this one. Hasn't managed to sneak past his awareness just yet. Snacks is lining up this molly. Oh, that could be so harsh. That molly's going to land, but they're going to push on through it. They managed to get down in time. Now, good pistol on towards Snacks and Bialy. They keep the pressure down, but look at Pasha in the back. He's been wiped out. Neo, the only man left. And they recovered both of the rifles as well, so they're starting to get well armed in this. Neo's just going to barrel forward, try and take the flight. He does remove one, but the bomb planted. He has to go beast mode, and he can't do it. He'll be taken down by Magisk, and SK really dominating then with those Tech Nines, even, you know, working with limited utility, limited armor. Then I don't think Freeze even had armor to, to, to talk about, but they did take two guns away. Not able to take away the AWP, though, but still really nicely done just kind of making it ahead of that uh, Neo, uh, making it down ahead of that Molly just gave them a chance there. So 4-1 SK finally get themselves that round on the board. Taz going pretty aggressive on A there, along with Neo. Neo's on long, just above. With the org. Yeah, with the org. To be fair... 100% accuracy on yeah, that first exactly. shot. That's someone, what it's all about. Someone showed recently the recoil of this gun and how you can actually control it. It's not actually that bad of a spray, but oh. Pasha getting caught out. Moddy Timing. just stepping ahead. Snacks did get one down, but Neo is about to find two more around that corner. There's another one just going to step into the line of fire. And that was all easy for him. Can he get a third? Can't quite close it out. Now, Taz and Piali got to go on the rotate here. As Moddy all the way over on B site. They think that's where the bomb is, but it's actually a Cillian that had it all the way in A. And looks like he's going to make the rotate straight into Taz. Oh, Taz, you have to land the shot, and you should do. He's heard a Cillian. He lines it up. He delivers. Now, 1v1 again. Taz has to come up with the goods twice now as Moddy on for his 3k. Awkward positioning. He has the bomb, and he actually, actually tell the has Taz has a great position here. Moddy... Well, he's got to realize there's only a couple of positions he can be. He knows he has to be around that corner, so it's going to be all down to reactions. He might see the gun first. As the old Meister got it, tries to peek around. And it's Taz that comes out on top. Range there. Moddy, you saw he had to adjust the aim, <laughs> and that bought the time for Taz. And Taz is having a really big game. Like, I'm not sure where he's mm. on the scoreboard at the moment. Yeah, 11 to 3. He's top fragging overall. Um, Free shot to get a kill. Now, this was another point. When Freeze was able to actually get the AWP in the previous matches, he started to come into his own. He's not yet had a real opportunity to start working with that. We're going to see it this round, and hopefully he can get off the bottom of that scoreboard. But then again, Pash has just been building up bank so readily with that Mag-7. And let's see what he can do here, Freeze. He's going to make the difference. Yeah, he just pick, keeps on picking up round after round. <laughs> he's quite happy to stick with it. Nobody from... Virtus Pro on long A this time to challenge out a Cillion and Sand, and they're going to sit passively. Neo, I think he caught wind there, heard the flashes, so he is going to get himself into position. But three members of SK are stacking to come around this corner, and I think he just caught a glimpse of the feet there, and will smoke it out. Flashes to back it up. Taz is with him, he's just down on the ramp, but it's going to be heavily reliant on Neo. Neo already took a tag as well, which is going to be the slightly harder part. He wastes that molly too. And this is going to be a hard one. Already the push does come in. Molly's going to win out against Pasha, but that's going to draw Snacks back towards B and make it even harder for Verse Pro to hold A. Taz still holds position. Neo holding the angle, but wide open. Neo tagged up heavily already, so he can't really go and challenge it. It's going to be on Taz, so they're going to try and flash him in here. He's going to get the information he needs, but how Magis managed to come out on top that? Who knows? He was flashed out. And instead now, they've got four members collapsing in towards A site. Neo does manage to find one, but he gets quickly caught out. And Snacks rushes straight on through Balcony. Tries to get himself in there. He needs the support. Bialy is going to back him up. He finds one. He finds two. That's the bomb carrier. Bialy comes on through. And SK just made a complete hash of that on A site. 
To be fair, though, Virtus Pro played that so well. Like, even Neo ignoring the first, picking up the second, and one by one picking them off. You can even see the synergy between Neo and Taz. Nice little flashes between each other. They weren't the big defining factors. But when you've got players like Saxon Bialy to fall back on, you know you're in safe hands. But we are going to see the all coming back out for Neo. And uh, SK. Not with a great deal of money. Moddy actually taking a little bit of damage there. I think that was a knife probably coming into place. He's going to be a little bit annoyed at that line. And Moddy's going to flash them in, I can imagine, to try and overwhelm Neo or Taz if anyone was there. And there it is. No one's going to be found as Neo's working up on long already. He's going to spot out Moddy and already take him out. Now, SK, in a good position to maybe punish, but look at this. Neo reading it like oh, a nade. Oh, they're running straight into the nade as well. Like you say, perfect positioning. Neo knowing Four exactly bullets. what he's doing. Gets himself a third. He's got the support of Taz, he's coming around the side of him, but he doesn't need it. He That's gets four. himself a fourth. Can he make it the whole ace? Magis is all the way over on B-side. Bomb is with Neo, so probably just sit around for that, but he's going on the hunt. I Neo he wants this Penta. And he might just get it. Penta. I can tell what you've been watching today. Neo <laughs> about to be pushed, though. I think he might have actually just missed Magis by a second as he just danced through there. But Neo still, oh, we saw him. He's got to have seen him. There's, there was a leg then to be shown. Neo still hunting out. Magisk is in trouble. They're both heading towards each other though. Will Neo get the ace? Well, Magisk ruining his hopes and dreams. I think uh, Neo might just be coming around. Behind I think they're him gifting here. it him. Like, like, go hunting Neo. Go forth and find him. And oh. he knows where he is. He's going to come around the corner and he gets it. That's all five in the round. Seven one Virtus Pro. <laughs> and Neo. It was only a pistol, in fairness, for SK, but. He Ace did only ace. have an org, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was just so well done. Like, the way he played the timing, he knew that they pushed up as Taz was able to kind of reiterate that information. Look. The nade comes out, does the damage, takes Sandon down low and such, and then he adjusts. He has four bullets by this point, uses them well, switches up, doesn't panic either. Sandon does push through, he listens for the sounds, takes him out, and then just follows it through. It's, it's just really well played by Neo. He's such a... Such a calm player in those situations, but still. SK back on the buy here. This is going to start getting a little more dangerous, but still, it's 7-1. Oh, smokes used up. SK did stack out, but they're the ones that are taking the early exchange of damage. Big tags there. Pasha once again sitting true in this position. Taz has managed to push on through. Now Sandin actually shooting a Cillian in the back there, trying to get onto Taz. And now let's give SK a real problem. They're already 7-1 down, and now the two men dropped off. Freeze with the bomb all the way back, expecting Taz to push his position, but they've no reason to. Furtis Broken just hold on and wait this one out. SK just not forcing anything from Virtus Pro. They're not making them rotate. They're not making them, you know, they're not able to punish them for anything. And Freeze, Magisk and Molly looking for something, but they're only finding Neo with the Org. And it's a disgraceful gun and it's working out. And Taz just sits back, waits for Freeze to show his hand as Magisk now, last man standing, 1v5. You know, we're... we're how do you want to go out in this round, basically? Is is it to the Mag 7 of Pasha, the Org of Neo? You know, how do you fancy being killed, basically, by this point? He's got 25 seconds. Bomb nowhere to be found. Taz just being tagged as well, just for the funsies. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a little bit of a one-sided affair, to say the absolute very least, as Virtus Pro just looking so much more dominant overall than SK. Yeah, am I just, just going to... Save his weapon here. Neo, 15 kills so far with that org. I reckon he should keep hold of that. I think he's found the niche between the M4A1 and M4A4. <laughs> he's onto something here. Trend setting, Neo. We'll see how it works out for him. 8 1, Virtus Pro. Dominant start for on the CT side here. And honestly, this is a map that a lot of people do prefer the T side on. So you've only got to worry for SK Gaming how high this score may well go against them. 16-1 would not be pretty figures after uh, such a great start to the night overall. Yeah, that's the thing. You look at their first two games, it was, it was a really kind of good display of things to come. I guess maybe they haven't really looked at this map. Maybe they just don't know how they want to play it as a team. And once again, Pasha back oh, with the, the Mag nade. 7. <laughs> the double nade's going to do the damage. He doesn't need to do much more, but he knows he's there. Just kind of lurking. And I, and I love seeing the fact that Pashanoi plays the, the position to push out towards that balcony, so he knows exactly how to handle it himself. So, already they're just walking into crossfire One and tap. that wasn't oh, him, that was Taz. Oh, it was Taz, I can say. But still, this is so dominant from Virus Pro. Oh, just got a glimpse of him, knows he's there. Tries to get himself a second. There's a big tag. It's just one more will do it, but Sander manages to find the head. Unfortunately, he's pushing straight on Bialy's crosshairs. And he's not going to be allowed through. Freeze, he's trying to sneak out back, but the rest of his team have already gone. And it's Neo, the dastardly org in his hand. 
calls himself a chameleon, but really we know what he's all about. It is going to be Freeze pushing up just to his right. He didn't even bother scoping it. Just finds the head with ease. 9-1. Dominant, dominant stuff for this pro. Freeze yet to get a kill. <laughs> oh, Freeze. Zero to nine. And I was seeing his praises earlier. That's the thing I was saying. You know, he's made such a difference for them. He was playing the orb really well. He was out doing Guardian on occasion. He was actually taking him down there on uh, on Mirage, but just not having much luck in this. Nine one is so goddamn one sided. Anyway, SK with the rifles. It's it's disheartening to watch after they've been coming so oh, close no. so far. But Magic does find a little bit of silver lining there towards Snacks, but. You've got to think that bomb's still over by A with Neo, the raid boss with the org. It's <laughs> it's kind of hard to think past. Well, he just threw out the molly and then backed it straight up with a smoke. Total light. He held it back. There goes the smoke. And that stops SK. They're going for the rotate. They're all going to be heading over towards B. So Bial is the man that's about to get challenged. That molly going down is going to buy time for SK to drop down. It's going to be Molly that will lead the charge, but unfortunately, straight into the perfect crosshairs of Bialy. Great little positioning from him, but he will get taken down. Now, Magic's boy, and that buys problems because Pasha gets tagged out. And now it's only Taz and Neo for Virtus Pro. This could be an important second round for SK Game. And every round counts for them right now when they're this far behind. And it looks like, yeah, Taz is just going to wait. Neo's on the creeper round, but I think they're only going to exit. Bomb finally planted. They may as well go for this, to be fair, Virtus Pro. Like, what's. The, there's nothing that can go wrong with it. And Taz should be able to. You know, bait out a Cillian and Neo should be able to get him if they fire again. See if Neo can get it. Did he? Nope. He saw him, didn't he? Probably not in his aspect ratio. Yeah. He double checks it, though. We'll find a Cillian. Could be on 4 by 3 so yeah, probably exactly. didn't see it, yeah. Magic does find Taz. So we're just down to Neo now. And finally, SK do get a round on the board that was truly well needed and, and quite the long time coming. It's been... How many rounds back to back for Virtus Pro? Mm. The difference is okay, you take down Pasha Shaw, and then you see your know, Snacks and Bialy are still there. It's still gonna be a tough one to overcome, but they make it happen. They negate A finally. They retain the three rifles, which is also very important at this point, and they get themselves back into this one. Just maybe. Freeze gets a kill. Yay. Yeah, the problem is they're still fairly short. They have to pass off the weapons to the Cillian and Modi that obviously got nothing out of that one and more importantly you got to make sure they do <laughs> oh snacks <laughs> why you got to do this I mean if they lose this round now obviously that's just going to break their bank straight back in there where are you going with snacks let's, let's go see go and drop where else would he go just just sit here just Is sit it? here it's just like oh. you, you challenge me oh that's how you do it Moddy Shut him down, but Bialy this time is ready from distance. Manages to get himself one. He knows that Asidian's going to be there. Pops out, goes for the second. Won't expect the third and doesn't land the spray either. Moddy will get himself a second on the board. Chalked up. Now, Taz and Neo totally smoked out. It's all Pasha just hiding, hiding in the smoke, hoping that someone's going to drop into his crosshairs with his deadly Max 7. Finds one, but can't land the shot. And now Neo, the last man standing, not able to land that org. And SK Gaming will get themselves a third round. So, Virtus Pro, they tried a bit of fun, it backfired. Yeah, but Pasha's the only one a little bit short for cash, so it's not the end of the world. Bialy Snacks, Neo can already buy, the Orc's coming back out. Telling um, you he's onto something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Anyway, Pasha's going to be just fine, he's going to be dropped out, I think, there by Neo, if required. And we are back underway in this, so Virtus Pro probably going to just kind of go back to default. Um, try not to get overrun by SK, who were starting to exploit a little bit more towards B and a little bit more towards drop. But Verse Pro know that they can fix that if needed. But SK now have a lot more utility to kind of clear out these corners and make it harder for Pasha as well. Magic's expecting a boost there. Snacks and Bialy didn't see if there's anything that maybe warranted that. Neo and Taz are also getting pushed on long. They're going to back themselves away a little bit here, unsure of where this is going. But Modi again, he's the man that's been creating a lot of problems for SK and just pushing on through. Now. Snacks this time in a worrisome position. Magic is going to find the angle and he will get ahead. And this is going to be a fourth round. You would assume for SK. He's down to Taz and Neo who are pushing in on site. They've really started to work out how to overcome the likes of Pasha who play so close. And Magic forcing Taz back into the fire. As Freeze will find Neo as well. We might have to see Pasha switching up the sort of play he's been going for so far. And I doubt they can have the money to do it um, into this one to say the very least. But, you know, at the end of the day, Verse Pro just kind of... 
rested on their laurels a little too long. And Molly's been playing a really good good role of kind of breaking through towards B once they kind of worked out what Virtus Pro were up to. And it, it's really started to pay dividend. It's gone to the four, well, three rounds at least on the board. Oh, well, yeah, it's gone on shotgun. Looks like it's going to be up close and personal on long eight. I'm going to wait for him to burst around that corner. We'll see whether they take the bait. Magic just had to go back and get the bomb. I think everybody forgot that. They know that they're probably down to pistols by now, so it's going to be a slow and steady. Snacks with the boost. It's the smoke down. Oh, that nade just flicking past his head. And I like that smoke there. It's just to cut off the counter boost in case they went for it again. So kind of recalling back to the opening rounds here. So smart stuff from Virtus Pro. But Snacks not really finding anything. There's no one actually here apart from the one player dancing around at the bottom. Taz and Neo getting pushed. Neo gets himself one, but Asilion will find them both. But the bomb was was still over on B site. And that's A cleared out. It's for Snacks to go for the rotate. And it's left Pasha and Bialy up against four. And there's SK push on B. Yeah, only three players remaining. Pasha does have the CZ, but not going to have the time to use it. Modi kind of once again showing off what he can do with this sort of position. And he does it well, even against just pistols. Takes down the two and checking the site meticulously as the last man standing is Snacks. But he has managed to recover the rifle, so well played to him. Snacks is making a run for it. Asilion, though, has him tracked. <laughs> Will he manage to get in position first? No, he <laughs> won't. Oh, he just snuck up the ladder. Just chilling out on the ladder. He's like, do now. I go all the way up? Do I go back down? The fake. Asilion's not falling for it, though. He's stuck there. <laughs> and the rest of the team are coming in. I think Magisk is going to be the man that's going to find him. I think Snacks is going to... Oh, no, he's gone back up. It's going to be a silly one that pushes him. He's got flash He's in looking hand. for a line-up flash. He's, He's like, like, where can I flash oh, Where can I flash? He's going to do it. He grabs himself, drop down, finds himself one. Saw the second was there. Knows that someone's going to punch up a ladder. Gets <laughs> another down. But Magisk does finally, in the end, get him down. But he made it costly for them. Yeah, he almost got to keep that rifle. Almost. So 9-5. And we are going to see, not quite the proper buy, but Pasha this time, no Mag 7, going to go up to the M4. The Org still in the hands of Neo, but when you're, I guess you're top fragging, is he still? I'm not sure. Uh, yep. When you're top fragging, I guess you might as well retain it. So, who am I to judge? He's got the good spawn here, so he can have a little peek up towards where Freeze may be heading. But Freeze this time doesn't have an AWP, so he might need to be a little cautious about that. But once again, SK putting early presence down towards that drop room. And Morning and Magiska burning alive. Snacks just waits ever so patiently. And there's so much going towards him. Virtus Pro just turn up the pace here. And it's starting to get a little bit difficult. But Sandin now having to pick up what Moddy was doing, but just gets shut down instantly. Straight away dealt with. And this is looking to be a 10-5 first half. Moddy and Freeze. The only Neo. two alive. Oh, the knife. <laughs> Didn't see that one, but... Neo having fun in this game, no doubt about it. 10-5 first half. Virtus Pro looking comfortable as they move in towards the T side. That's 10 rounds on the CT. Now, we'll see. Generally, it's all about the T side. So you've got to feel Virtus Pro going to be feeling pretty confident as this pistol round will get away in just a moment. Yeah, and they're so confident on the T side. This is the thing. I look at SK and they have moments of doing really well. But then it gets undone, as they do just shoot out all the glass really loudly. But no, it's it's the fact that <laughs> we were seeing Pasha playing with the Mag-7 the whole time. We are seeing Neo with the Org the whole time, or almost. And then Pasha finally goes for the M4, and they just get destroyed. It's, you know, SK, I, I feel a little for them, but Modi's gone for a CZ and a nade. All right. I guess you're playing drop, okay. Um, you just don't get much of a money reward from the CZ, that's all. Um, armor for Freeze, Magisk, and Asilion. And Sandon with the Diffuse Kit and the Smoke. So Freeze is the only man towards A, or four players from SK heading towards B. Well, oh, the nade catches snacks, but only barely. Didn't really do a great deal. So that investment didn't really pay off. Taz has actually got himself on platform already. Uh, Sandon is trying to cover the angle, so they're aware that somebody is there. Pasha... Playing it way back. He's actually he's actually turreted Pasha. It's Pasha and Neo. They were turreted all the way back there. <laughs> Expecting maybe a push from SK to come around, but mm. now they're going to creep their way in long while the rest of it is pro create a distraction on drop. It's still a split. It's the same split we saw coming out from SK. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it works this time. They are in the drop room. Snacks allowed to find a Cillian. Moddy, where were you during this? You just baited your whole team out then. And now look at this. Virtus Pro through. You better make up for this. Gets down one. Magis finds Taz. The bomb is now loose. Virtus Pro against the odds here. Pasha ready and waiting. Moddy tries to get a little peek there. Sees him coming. Knows that Moddy's around the corner. Pasha, don't go for it. There's too many of them. 
Instead, they're going to line up the angle. This is buying time for the rest of his team. He finds the head, and now Sander's going to check. He gets himself another, and they just walk into his crosshairs. And now Magisk, they haven't got the bomb. It's Magisk sitting on it right now, so they have to try and pressure this angle. Bash is going to get himself another peak. Neo's going to back him up. They know exactly where he is around this tower. He's trying to duck and weave. Finds himself one, spins around, has to go for the reload. And it buys time for Neo to get the kill. And with that pistol down, you've got to question what was going on in drop room. Yeah, I, uh, looking back at it, it, kind of, it almost worked out. Molly almost came around and saved the day, but then leaving that 2v1. But I want to highlight Neo then using the decoy as, as like a pop flash, because it's like bouncing off the floor and you saw Magisk having to turn away and then they were to kind of progress forward. So nicely done by Neo. He's having a really good game actually today. Um, kind of looking forward to seeing what they can bring, but it looks like SK are just buying what they can at this point. There's not much left with them. They've got what, CZs, Deagle, P250. And Snags is going walkabout, so that's the big thing here. They've got three SMGs, a Galil and a rifle, so quite the light investment from Valus Pro. Snags getting a little peek there. Cilion tries to check around there, but instead there's a Mac 10 bearing down on him. And Snags makes it very easy. Bialy drops on down. He didn't notice there was another one in window, but it doesn't matter. Pasha has managed to gun down. It was Modi that was around there, but everybody's being cleared out now. Snacks is about to find Modi. Bialy also coming into position. We'll clean out the rest of SK. 12-5, Virtus Pro. Looking solid, not slipping up in the second round. Yeah, and, and four of those kills going to the players with the SMGs means that their economy is really starting to bulk up. For the T side, you can see them still sticking with this. They don't need to change it. But they're going to see a couple more nades with maybe SK just so they can put out some damage. And that's pretty much it. Apart from that, I'm looking to see if Snacks goes back again towards drop and SK with no armor. So this is going to start hurting again and again. And you can keep kind of exploiting that. You can kind of just keep pressing the issue. And it looks like maybe a counter boost coming in, but those nades already being put into place there. Modi going to be... Oh, it's Bialy who's taken low. Look at this. They've taken them both blow. They've kind of realized what happened last round, and they've gone they're and countered boost, it. Boost. And the boost with Modi. This could be huge. Oh, Snacks gets caught out. He ducks it. Modi finally takes him down. This is round maybe back on here. Modi recovers the SMG. But remember, a Galil with Neo, a rifle, an AK with Pasha. This is still hard. Freeze is just pushing up on Neo as well as they try and creep. Look at that, he's staring face to face, but they just don't know in the smoke. And Neo will manage to get the kill. Modi with a spray down onto Pasha, forces him back away from platform. Tries to chest around the corner, but Pasha this time with the AK, not falling for it. Everybody very low from Virtus Pro, but unfortunately, it is 4v2 now. And SK Gaming just pushing on Pasha's position. They get themselves an AK for their troubles. There's also a Mac-10 around there somewhere that Modi dropped, so Magic should be able to find that. That's not a bad little haul that they will have recovered from Virtus Pro, but bomb goes down. VP should be closing out the round. It is SK just backing away with their weapons. Yeah, Pasha dropping out, or losing out, should I say, that that rifle towards the Cillian is a really big pickup. Neo still gets to retain the Galil he started with, but Magisk as well is just going to be kind of playing bodyguard on one of the angles to make sure a Cillian can get away with that AK. Um, and they can actually supplement it with everything else. So Bialy is going hunting. And he's so low, he can't really commit to much. Instant Whitney Houston in my head. As soon as back. Oh, bodyguard? Come yeah. on. <laughs> Come on. Straight away. Don't know why. There we go. But Magisk, not quite going to be singing. Good luck finding any reference. You tried for a whole second, you're like, no, nope, there's nothing. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Just going to be a sad panda, which I see you've drawn. No, it was, it was a Is that line. not a sad panda? It looks no, like a sad was, panda. I was going to start drawing the Verse Pro logo, then I messed it up. Uh, um, but still, Free does have really the... messed it up. No, it's, it was meant to be that. that way. It was meant to be that way, and then I got distracted. Um, but Free still is now getting running with the AWP, so locking down long. But this means that the Verse Pro are just speeding up. This one is the role I was talking about with Pasha. He's only really good at getting to platform here. But Asilian's caught off Neo, so that's a big difference. And Magic's going to be boosted up. One of the big heavy hitters for SK. Can he find Pasha, who's just creeping around that smoke? The tree blocking his view, actually. If as soon as that smoke disperses, which it will be going in just a second. Sander's also checking the angle. Now Pasha does manage to get found out. Magic takes him down. But the rest of Virtus Pro are going to keep on pushing the angle. And they're in a great little crossfire. The smoke not going to be blocking Magic's view, but he backs away and Taz catches him as he drops. Snacks is just going to push straight on through. Aggressive stuff from him. He gets stopped by Modi, and it's all down to Taz now as he's last man with the bomb in hand. That nade's going to get flung out, but he's not going to have the time to get this planted. Surely SK won't allow it, but they are. They're going for the boost around the side, but they're going to come from every angle, and this is going to be very hard for Taz to hold. Yeah, it's going to be difficult, and Freeze will close it down in the end, and as you noted, the boost coming through just to make sure they could go from every single angle. 
angle possible to not allow him the chance to get it done. But yeah, as I was saying, this is the play that I like seeing Pasha do normally when he gets out towards that platform side. You saw the rest of Verse probably then just kind of like pile into it, hoping they could make the most of that. And they did overwhelm a couple. They removed the players off the site, but there was no, everyone on the retake was already watching that angle. There wasn't that much smoke down, and they just got picked up. But still, Verse probably have enough money to go back in towards this buy. We're going to see a bit of a different split here. Pasha and Snacks over towards B, but the three players towards A, and Freeze did check this last time. He pushed up a little further, flashed out, gonna make the noise. They know he's on long now, and Neo leading the fray. Can they win out this push, though? So, SK Gaming done a great job at holding off. Pasha not been too successful over on B site. He's the distracting force while the rest of Virtus Pro stack up around here. Freeze is the man they're gonna have to challenge. I think they're about getting ready to do that. Snax is creeping up around the back of them as well. Freeze has to back away. He has to respect the position that Virtus Pro have gained. And they're coming in numbers. Four members of Virtus Pro all pushing around long. Now, Asilian's all the way down on ramp on A site. Freeze still there. Pasha's been cleared out. That buys time. If SK want to rotate, and it looks like they might rotate Moddy here, they can go for it. Asilian gets flashed in, but Neo comes out on top. Almost a roll reversal from what happened against him. And now Freeze all alone. Moddy's coming in, but Neo's position should cut him off a doorway. Yeah, Cillian really fluffing up his lines then, but Moddy is watching the cross now. Sandon going to get towards that kind of balcony ledge. Freeze trying to peer above the smoke. He's going to see these flashes, his Moddy's, his smokes, whatever is being thrown at him towards the side. But you can see now, slowly but surely, Verse Pro encroaching forward. The great crossfire from SK comes in. Freeze going wild. That's two already. Looking for his third. He's going to claim that one. Really well played to him. He fell back from long. He gave that control up to support Cillian, who went for the challenge on a fully flashed Neo. Failed it parlously, but then Freeze picked of the pieces. This is the player I was looking to turn up for SK. And he's finally starting to build up here. Great little spawn coming into the next round as well, but this was really nicely done. Didn't panic too much, took his time, helped support that crossfire. And just pick them apart as soon as they tried to get in on site. Now, uh oh, Freeze, let's see what you got. It's a pistol train from Virtus Pro. They are all going towards Freeze, as you say, but he gets flashed out and that forces him back. They're going to find him on the way around, though. But he will throw a nade out. Just managed to switch the USP, but it's only going to get snacks down. And now they're all in on site, but SK rotated in kind and Moddy just picking himself up a couple more kills to get those stats stacking out nice. He's doing a great job for SK Gaming. I think that's his 20th kill plus already there. Definitely uh, stepping up. Him and uh, Magisk, as you mentioned earlier on, doing a great job. 20 kills and 18. The rest of the team yet to hit double figures. So those two alone are carrying SK hard here. To be fair, I love the way Moddy plays in kind of adjustable positions where you can kind of fall back from the fights. You saw it especially on Mirage, uh, on A, how he's playing, always like dancing around the boxes on the site. Now you're seeing it kind of then on the APC as well. Really, really nice stuff. And I, I think that's something that he does perfectly. And we, you can see it as well on B as well towards that flower bed. If he boosts up Magisk, he kind of like dances around the bottom of it as well. But still, Sandin this time, going to get the one up and up and close towards possibly where Vers Pro are going to go for. But... Vers Pro losing a little bit of that kind of fire, that little bit of kind of um, confidence, let's say, only, you know, the way they play it, they're not just barreling in as much. But you can see this very clear divide. Taz and Neo working together a hell of a lot. That was even on the CT side, whereas the three players, Snacks, Passion, and Bialy, mostly focusing towards B. They yet to secure themselves an actual rifle round on T side, I believe. SK Gaming doing a great job at locking them out at every angle. Five members of Virtus Pro all stacked on this B site right now, so clearly. That is where they want to hit, unless they decide to rotate away. Everything being expended by SK Gaming to delay them. There's the flash going out, though, and Taz is going to push on through into drop. That's where the fight's going down. Sander's going to get himself in and around the corner. Taz very low, actually, in drop room. And Sander, I think he realizes that. Now he's going to get joined. It's Neo that's going to re lead the charge. He gets around. Piali and Pasha both onto platform as well. Magic manages to find one out of second. Now Taz is low. He could get a third, and he does. And now Pasha gets picked off, and SK Gaming holds strong once again on B-side. See, now everything's starting to fall into place for SK as soon as that push came in. SK were playing super passively, so holding drop room super far back. Now Snacks ended up flashing himself, which gifted that initial kill over. Then everyone kind of saw what Verse Pro were going for, so when they tried Tried to make that push. Magisk was the one in trouble, but he was able to negate the presence from Verse Pro towards the platform, completely focus on drop, pick up those players, and then, you know, they've just funneled the rest of Verdus Pro. Really, really smart stuff from an individual player, but now Verdus Pro down on the pistol. This is the SK Gaming I want to see turn up and a good little double nade to start off with in case Magisk needed some more kills. Yeah, Taz just getting obliterated as he tries to push on through. Neo's going to be the one that tries to 
find the angles over on A site. It is only pistols, as you mentioned. They're going to keep on creeping through. Snacks has got himself all the way through drop, through window, and round the side of a Cilion. How on the earth has that happened? Because they play so passive, and it's a mistake. They, they don't check the window as much. They're not being as kind of frugal with the angles they're holding. And now there's trouble afoot, but that bomb is yet to cross. Yeah, Freeze has got his shots lined up, and that was the bomb as well. So it's going to be tricky to try and pick that one up. They've got no smokes to cut them out. Snacks has got himself that AK, and he has managed to click the bomb. So that worked out. Now, Bialy and Neo are going to just hold the angle. Snacks is going to get the plant down. This is a, something for nothing right now for Vodas Pro. And that's just from the kind of passive play SK were pulling off, but the retake should be theirs. Let's see how much impact Snacks can have. He's going to be the big player here. And, well, it's all down to him. 1v3. He gets the first, but Modi just denies any sort of momentum building. And the defuse will come through. And SK make it to double digits after a very, very shoddy T side. They found their footing on the CT half. Yeah, perhaps Virtus Pro shouldn't have taken it quite so lightly when they're... 9-1 up over on the CT side because they are struggling here on T. They did pick up those first three on T side, but as of yet, let to, yet to make it any impact on SK's rifle rounds. Now, of course, they've gone straight forward. Orp for Neo. Let's see what impact that can have because Freeze is sitting on 12,000 right now and that Orp in hand. Very solid stuff from SK Gaming since getting into the rifles. It is going to be Neo versus Freeze. They're both looking for each other. Who will find the other first? Freeze not fancying it, it's going to back away. Yeah, Freeze has too much to lose, and, and he has to support a silly in there who's been generally playing with him. So he can't really take those trades too too favorably. And you can see how much weight Virtus Pro are pushing towards playing towards that ramp. And you can see now Freeze is already backed up, kind of predicting though. that. Pasha's created such a distraction that four people from SK rotated over, to, rotated over towards B, leaving A wide open. Now Freeze and Asilion suddenly coming back into play. Now, last time this happened, Asilian did go down after the one-for-one -one trade, but Freeze was there to pick up the pieces from the back of sight. Now, Vernus Pro playing it real slow, real careful. Look how many mollies they have as well. They've got a lot of, kind of, they, they can they can expend a lot more time because they can clear a lot more corners with just the Molotovs. And this time they're going to try and start doing that as soon as they can. Pasha still desperately trying to keep people, uh, you know, attending that B site. But look at this Freeze from above should be able to dome these players. And it's going to be Neo to peer in first. Sandon just snuck a peek in B there. And he's on the rotate now over towards A site. He's like, no, there's nobody in here. Of course, they could be snuck around the corner. Pasha does try and go through drop, but Freeze is taking down Neo. That's the Orp and Orp battle. Pasha gets dropped by Sandon. That's in drop room. And suddenly, Virtus Pro, they're tunneled. They're funneling through the same location. And Asilion should have the angle to pick them apart. Gets himself one, two. Can't quite make it a third, but Bialy all on his own in this 1v4 now. And even though Pasha started so well into that round, selling the fake, keeping them all there, they read into it, they took that aggressive peek and it worked for them. So SK, 11-3. And I, I hope they don't lose out in the final stages here. I hate to say it, but I've seen that so many times thus far. Well, look at the last game. Exactly. In the no, last couple of times, but look at these rounds. They're starting to do well. Three players remaining, three players remaining. They're keeping bodies alive. They're keeping that bank building. Freeze on 15k. He's almost at full money now. And Virtus Pro needs to start picking up the pace here. They need to start actually playing here this real game. I want to see them more committed towards B and drop. Not going in this one by one, you know, rush fashion. I want to see Pasha playing the platform. I want them to start, you know, expecting Magis to be up close or then boosted up towards that flower bed that he's been consistently doing throughout. Neo's got himself through on platform. Snacks pushes on through as well. Rattling off the shots, but yet to really find anything. There goes Neo. He has to try and find something, but his head gets popped. It's Magix that manages to get him down. It was a one-for-one -one train. It was Sandin that went down. And now Virtus Pro have this wall of smoke covering their angle. But look at Magix. He's gone around the side and nobody was looking his way. Taz finally gets him down, but the damage seems to be done. And now Snacks in this 1v2 against the Cilion and Freeze. Yeah, Virtus Pro going for the standard execute here, but great work from Snacks to flash out both players, get the cross through. But we expect both challenging. He's going to spot out one. But will he expect Freeze? Already peers through. Does get the shot towards Freeze. He knows where Asilian is. He misses the spray. He still has the molly. He's got 40 seconds. He's going to try and force him out of the angle and stacks, Whoa. closing it down. That's the sort of player caliber you just can expect from Virtus Pro. Whereas SK did everything right by the books in that round. You still can't write Virtus Pro out. That was so close, though. Nine health for Snacks. The spray transfer across, trying to track him as he jumps. 14 11, Virtus Pro. And they finally close this one out. It's been a long time coming for that round to be picked up. Six rounds back-to-back -back by SK Gaming. 
Now Virtus Pro quickening up the pace, finally getting themselves around, and now they're piling straight towards drop room. Are they going to come fast? They are, but Moddy is ready and waiting, and he takes Neo and snacks his head off. I don't know what they expected going in towards that sort of situation. Moddy has been pretty prolific at playing the spot, but then again, Magisk is playing here this time. That's a little different. Normally he's up in those flower beds, but maybe feeling oh, not the case, but Sandon. Pop out now. Village, village, oh my god, he's going to get one. He doesn't get the second Bialy. Oh, somehow gets that. Now Magisk has to be where this sort of stops. Magisk just trying to get the spray down, being told the information that Bialy's got to be low by his teammates. Oh, Taz has been picked off. Bialy just one hit point. He can't surely do this, can he? This would be match point if he could close it out, but he got to feel that SK Gaming. But don't forget, that's broke Virtus Pro's bank now. That's a real problem. This is now 14-12, SK Gaming, and Virtus Pro, that may just be the game. They're going to be on nothing this round, unless SK Gaming make a really big mistake. They're going to at least tie equal here. I don't want to start believing this, because it's Virtus <laughs> Pro. You shouldn't... Don't stop. Oh, God. It's been a real journey with you today, hasn't it? But still, um, no, I <laughs> I really don't know what to say about this one. It's, it looks like Verse Pro being a little lax at times and then just SK starting to run with it. But I've seen SK kind of dropping some of these games in the last couple of rounds and it, it terrifies me now. But they've been working hard on this and Sandon's going to find Neo straight away just spraying through that smoke, catching him out. And now Verse Pro trying to flex back down towards drop. Going to push Moddy back, but he adjusts well. And I love him in these kind of retractable spots. Him and Magisk just going to close down. And, and look at the scoreboard for those two. Moddy on 28, Magisk on 26. That's huge for them. All aboard the drop train because it's been working well for SK Gaming. Yeah. Not only were they pushing that angle very well, they're holding it really well. SK Gaming putting up a mean CT defense here against Verdus Pro. They're currently 8-4 up in this half. It was 10-5, of course, the Virtus Pro in the previous half, but at the moment, I'm not too sure. 13-14 the score, as we get a bit of a Go TV pause, and it is a big rifle round from Virtus Pro. So, Fries with the AWP. Pasha, the sole man to distract on B-side once again, and again, they're going to try and push. But this they're time, they're much quicker on A. Yeah, they're pushing way quicker oh. here, and Freeze has been overwhelmed. He goes down. Now, remember, Asilian normally is the next player to fall off the back, but Freeze has always had his back in this, and Verse Pro just speeding up the pace. The smoke's already coming in. The Molly won't stop Taz. He's he Molly. may go down, but he does get the kill regardless. Pasha finds Molly. And now, look at this play from Verse Pro, speeding things up, and there's going to be broken hearts for SK fans everywhere if Verse Pro make this round count, and they will. Pasha comes through with the goods. It's 15-13. First row finally make it towards match point. And now they just need one more on the board. This can't happen again. They just lost 13-16 to Na'Vi. And they did this before in the last last week as well. They had another really close result against oh, Titan. my word. My word. SK Gaming. You've got to feel for them. They were starting to really string it together. Virtus Pro, though, quickening up the pace over on that A side, catching them off guard. But at the moment... We'll see. It's going to be a fast play once again. Virtus Pro, five members piling in towards B side. Are they going to rush through the smokes? No, they have to delay. They have to respect those nades. And Neo took a big chunk of damage as he tried to get a peek in there. But the smoke is not down properly. Oh, but he gets flashed out just at the right time. Sandon, unfortunately. But that smoke, that gap is l vital. SK just let them in. Well, the door wide open. Virtus Pro take their first step, and Snacks gets the lineup. He gets down Freeze, but now four players against three. SK falling like flies. A silly and last man standing, and once again on the brink of doing something brilliant. SK crumble to pieces, and a silly and will fall. Virtus Pro get it in the end, and it's another one of these games that you've got to feel for SK. Oh man, just leaving that, missing that one smoke, just basically leaving this big gap. For Virtus Pro to just get that peek around the corner. I don't know what to say about this anymore. This is not the first time this has happened. Let, 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 let me just go back to this. Okay, up against, let's say, Titan on cash, where they started to play with, you know, Freeze was playing well, they were starting to get some, you know, things going. That ended up in 14 16. And I mean, it was the last two rounds that basically got converted. Mm. So uh, they were there again. And then Hellraiser State, they won 16 6. Then Na'Vi, 13 16. And now this is just like, how much do they want to get it that close and then just let it slip? Feels like Hellraiser's last season. Oh God, it does, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, what it feels dear. like. They got so close and yet so far. But the problem is, SK Gaming, they're in the auto relegation spot and they have to be fighting for their lives. Yeah. And that's what they're doing so far with, you know, substitute players, all sorts, don't know what's going on. But certainly for sure, Magisk and Moddy coming in have 
really turned things upside down for SK Gaming. It, it has. They, they've been playing substantially better. Magisk is a huge, huge player in this one. They just need the discipline, the experience to be able to close out games. And it seems the one thing they're lacking is just that little bit at the end. And imagine if they just had a slightly stronger you know, start to the game. Every time it's been these comebacks, mm. and maybe they get a little tired, maybe they get a little bit you know, overwhelmed by it. Modi has really found his place here. I don't know if he's a permanent addition. He probably isn't. But he's been playing well as well. This, you know, this current formula of SK, if they kind of iron out the creases, has a lot of potential and freeze if you find some consistency a lot to be said there but still another little heartbreak for any sk fan out there but the, the night is certainly not over normally we'd be done by now but there's still i think two more games coming up and they're two very big games yeah so virtus pro versus tsm that's coming up next and it's going to be on overpass should be a cracker yeah and of course to finish off the night it is going to be TSM, Envy. TSM versus Envy. Not a yeah. bad game no. overall. And so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be great stuff. We'll be back after the break. It is the SL ESEA Pro League. Kenny X touches the round! 